AI differs from photographer to photographer. Uh, it can you can have like five different photographers shooting the same thing, coming up with different results. First time I ever handled a camera, I actually went for a class would be in 2006, uh, six or seven, yeah. Um, in Cosmo Point, I had a photography class. That time we were still using uh, film, film cameras, yes, uh, SLRs, and then uh, I stopped there because I went to pursue graphic designing. I continued in UMS, uh, taking visual arts technology, uh, where we also handled camera for photography, but mainly videography. After that, I went on to be part of Breeze. Uh, covered a lot of events in Breeze. I never knew there were a lot of events in GK. And uh, I think that was my starting point where I actually was more involved in photography. I was still doing graphic designing, but I was more involved in uh, photography. Uh, after that, I, I joined another company, which was uh, Saba Property. I did graphic there also, uh, do photography. So it's I keep on mixing until it was after I left the company, I started being a freelancer in 2017. My first workshop, it was with uh, Mr. Amri Ginang. He's a local professional photographer. That was when I actually knew I, I was more interested in portraiture. Like my, my portrait, mostly it will be in a more controlled environment. So, uh, and I like to play with lights, uh, flash photography. So being in a studio or maybe even on site but with flash is uh, my kind of thing lah. everyone has different features on their face uh, some with longer nose uh, play with uh, different sort of lighting different angle uh, yeah even playing with lighting is fun for me but uh, most of the time i will use a certain style of lighting lah. generally all photographers have their own style i like a cleaner bolder but more dark look yeah, uh, that's my style. And also, I think will be different how a photographer interacts with the subject. Yeah, with, with uh, the talents, with the model. Some models will be comfortable with, uh, safe with me, with my style, how I talk to them. Because I believe in a bond. When you shoot someone, you need to actually like be their friend quickly because you have a really brief time, right? Gears and all, all the equipments, is after. It depends on what you're shooting. If you're shooting commercial, of course, it's uh, very important. You need like a really uh, big size photo and all. But uh, most of the time, if just use whatever gear uh, you have. What is important is how you take the photos. What's the end result? The eye differs from photographer to photographer. You can have like five different photographers shooting the same thing, coming up with different results. My main camera will be the 700D. Uh, I sometimes use 650D if it's an event or I need an extra camera. Um, I bring along three speed lights, uh, three light stands, one big ass uh, octobox. I love octobox. Uh, one softbox. Uh, I have like um, a couple of umbrellas, uh, uh, a square softbox also. My lenses. I normally bring the 1, uh, 18 to 135, 55 to 50, 50 mm and uh, 40 mm depends on the shoot i also use color gels uh, i have a pop-up backdrop as well as uh, the normal backdrop stand with different backdrops black white gray and uh, textured i also use triggers uh, to light my to control my speed lights yeah. uh, this is my octobox it's a 120 cm octobox uh, i normally use it for uh, the key light main light uh, well, normally I put it in a Rembrandt uh, position, and this is my 90 times 60 softbox. Uh, both of them use uh, speed light, single speed light. Uh, my backdrop is a single person uh, backdrop. Uh, this is the textured one. I got a uh, black, white, and uh, gray also. Um, and well, this is my camera, my 700D. I use a trigger <coughs> to um, then I can control. Uh, manually the setting of the speed light without adjusting it uh, on the speed light itself. And I, for portraiture, I normally use the 50mm, the nifty 50. And uh, well, sometimes I use 40mm also 
and uh, the telephoto uh, depending on what type of shoot I'm uh, ordering. So this is how it looks like uh, inside. Uh, it's very simple, a single speed light. I use the uh, Yongno speed lights for now. Um, this is a Godox uh, of the box. Uh, this is another backdrop that I use uh, if I want um, a clean white back, uh, background. Uh, I can also use colored gel to manipulate, uh, mix colors and all. It's uh, about, I think about six feet plus, six and a half feet times uh, one and a half feet, also for single uh, portraiture. So uh, yeah, these are my bags that I carry around. So, okay, uh, three empty, three empty speed light bags. <coughs> Uh, my 18 125, my 55 to 50, <coughs> some extra batteries, uh, my second camera, and then a uh, memory card holder. Got a few memory cards inside. Uh, my flash diffuser, and um, some gels, uh, speed light gels. So, the orange and uh, several different colors. That's about it. Oh, I also have this. Uh, it's a waterproof cover for the bag, just in case uh, it rains. Which I always keep it in the bag. Yep. And of course, my main camera. Trigger, 50mm, and 700D. Oh, and my 40mm. Hey guys, so uh, I'm going to demonstrate a bit on uh, how I do things uh, normally uh, when we shoot. So, okay, we have our talent here, Jason. Hello. Yep. Um, my lighting setup, uh, run run on the octobox, and then a uh, fill light in the back, and of course the texture uh, backdrop. So, okay, uh, to start off, you uh, try to talk to uh, and communicate with your subject, maybe a bit, you slowly build up from there, All right? Okay, Jason. Uh, okay, I like that position. You maintain first, as close as you come here, that. Okay, right. One, two, three. Okay. For this one, then. Bye, Kasi. Good luck, Kasi. Thank you. Thank you, Kasi. Thank you, Kasi. Thank you, Kasi. Thank you, Kasi. Okay, fantastic. Nice. One, two. Okay, what you do is. What you do is. Kasi, Kasi, Kasi. Kasi, Kasi. Kasi, Kasi. Kasi, Kasi. Kasi, Kasi. Kasi, Kasi. One, two, okay. For this arm, let's see what else we can do. Okay. One, two. Okay. So uh, during a shoot, you can also show the results, what you shot to the uh, the model. So at least they know uh, more or less how it looks like. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Listen. Can you shoot? Yeah. Okay. Try to shoot like a shot. Like a shot. Don't shoot like a Okay. Fantastic. Okay. One, two, one more. Last one. One, two, four. Nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, another one. How about this one? Go for it again. 
sini sedikit hop oke okay. and then one two <coughs> oke okay. nice yep yep oke okay. so uh, basically that's uh, more or less how I shoot uh, how I do things so I hope that uh, there are some tips or um, something that you can gain from this so yeah Thanks for tuning in.